Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Now, if you followed me on social media, at the Wellbeing PT, or subscribe to my YouTube channel, hint hint, then you'll be well aware that I just like helping people. That's why I do what I do at the end of the day. And I recognize that for a lot of people, knowing what to do in the gym is a huge obstacle. And I'm not just talking about how to perform certain exercises. I'm talking more in terms of workouts and how to actually structure or create an effective workout. So to help you overcome this obstacle, in this week's video, I'm gonna talk a little bit about creating your own strength workouts so that you can make incredible progress with your strength and fitness. The first thing I want to emphasize before I get, we get our teeth into this topic is the importance of having a training program. You will not make good progress if you're jumping from exercise to exercise, if you're not progressively making things harder over time. So when I'm talking about creating workouts, you should create these workouts and then perform them consistently week on week on week, gradually making things harder, either by adding weight or volume. The next thing you need to determine is the focus of each workout. So for some people, they design workouts around specific muscle groups to target, for example, the chest or the shoulders or the back or the legs. Other people might do a training split like push-pull legs, which you may have heard of. This basically is a workout that involves all pulling exercises, all push exercises, and then a workout specifically for the legs. There are a few things to consider when determining this focus. But the main things are, your, firstly, your personal preference. I personally enjoy full body training rather than focusing on specific areas of my body. So therefore, I will design full body workouts because I like that. And secondly, consider the time that you have available to dedicate to training each week. There's no point designing five sessions that focus on individual muscle groups if, in reality, you're only going to get to the gym twice a week. If you can afford to go to the gym five or six times per week, great. It might be an idea in that case to perform workouts that do target specific muscle groups. But if you're short on time and it can only manage two times per week, in order to make the most of the time you have available, it might make more sense to do full body workouts. The final thing to consider which will help determine this focus is your own goal. For example, let's say one of your goals is to get bigger arms. If this was the case, it would make sense to have more of a focus on upper body training, specifically training the arms. Once we've determined this focus by considering the time we have available, our personal preference and our goals, then we're ready to go ahead and design these workouts. Now at this point, I just wanna say, if you were to sit down with 100 coaches and ask them to draw out an efficient strength workout, you're probably gonna end up with a hundred different workouts. So what I'm about to go on to say and highlight here comes from my own understanding of strength training, my own experiences. So first things first, we do a brief warm up. Now, do not worry about spending 15, 20 minutes doing mobility work before you start. There's not really much need for that. We just need to get the blood pumping and the muscles warm. Your warm up can be whatever you want it to be. You could jump on a bit of cardio kit for a few minutes. You could do a yoga flow, or you could do some body weight strength exercises. You could even go streaking around the gym if that's what you want to do. Just get some form of activity done. PS, from experience, I would not recommend streaking around the gym. Once you've spent a little bit of time warming up, I'd recommend starting with your heaviest, most challenging lifts first. These are the lifts that are gonna make the biggest difference in terms of your strength. So these include things like your deadlift, squat, hip thrust, overhead press, bench press, and row. We want to attack these lifts with the most energy and effort possible. Therefore, if we were to do some smaller lifts first, maybe a bit of cardio as well, we might actually come to do these lifts in a fatigued state. And therefore, we're just not gonna to perform to the same level. Now, when I'm talking about these big lifts, I'm talking about using the barbell because in terms of free weights, the bar is gonna allow you to lift 
the heaviest weight possible. And that's very important because when we consider strength development, research shows that lifting heavy leads to the greatest improvement in strength. Who would have guessed it? The next couple of exercises that you program into your workout should still be compound lifts. And what I mean by that is we're using more than one joint, so therefore we're working a variety of different muscles at the same time. Having used the barbell for the first two exercises, you could then move on and consider using things like dumbbells, weight machines, or cables. There's a lot of benefit in using a wide variety of kit in the gym because each piece of equipment has its own unique set of pros and cons. To develop well-rounded, comprehensive strength, it makes sense to use a mix of all types of kit. So thus far, we have our two big barbell lifts to help us build raw strength, followed up by two exercises of a similar ilk using different equipment in order to develop strength in a well-rounded way. To round off the workout, it may make sense to finish with some smaller isolation exercises. These are exercises that involve movement through one joint only. This places all of the demand of the exercise on a single muscle group. These exercises can be incredibly helpful in allowing us to develop strength and size in specific places. So for example, let's say we want to build quad strength and size, then it would make sense to do something like a leg extension, which is an isolation exercise which focuses on your quads. So there we have a very simple and straightforward way of programming your strength workouts. In even simpler terms, it's something as easy as two big lifts, two medium lifts, two small lifts. So here's a quick example of what a full body workout might look like. For my first two exercises, my big barbell lifts, I selected deadlift and bench press. The next two exercises are going to be a lap pull down and some dumbbell step ups. And my final two exercises, the isolations, are going to be cable bicep curl and the leg curl machine. Now for some of you who perhaps are a little bit more advanced, this might be too straightforward and you might actually find it a little bit boring or time consuming and maybe you want to get more work done in a shorter period of time. If this is the case and you feel like six exercises just isn't enough, then feel free to add some more. Now, obviously that's gonna potentially add more time. It's gonna take longer to get through the workouts. However, we can overcome this by using some advanced training techniques, specifically things like supersets and trisets. This is simply where we take exercises and we put them back to back. This basically allows us to get through more work in a shorter period of time. There are a variety of other advanced training techniques that I could go into, but that is a, definitely a full length video for another day. Well, thank you very much for joining me. I do trust this was helpful and that you're now feeling prepped and ready to go away and design your own workout program. If you've never designed a workout before, I hope that what I've covered gives you confidence. Your workouts don't have to be crazy complicated. It can really be as simple as that. Should you have any questions, any issues, or if you want some advice on your training, then please do get in contact. You can message me directly on social media. You can find me at The Wellbeing PT or feel free to leave me a comment and I'll get back to you. Thanks once again for joining me. Have a wonderful week and I'll check in with you next time.